Anyway, we've got no rush going down this road. We can take it nice and easy. As long as we don't crash. So Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 268 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the small town of El Chalten in Argentina. And let me just show you guys the view from outside our tent. This town is just like surrounded by cliffs and gorges and mountains and it just looks incredible here. It's an incredible location but it's as well incredibly windy so last night we really thought that our tent will break apart. It was absolutely crazy. Yeah, we tried to actually pick like a sheltered spot in this campsite rather than like out on the road or wild camping but it was still absolutely crazy <laughs> last night i couldn't believe it but our amazing tent did survive and we survived so let me show you guys where we're heading today so we are here and today we are going to be taking 23 all the way to the end before turning around linking back up with the route of 40 North. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> yes, today we're heading further into the Los Glaciares National Park for a bit of an exploration. When we came in yesterday, we couldn't see any mountains or anything. It was incredibly cloudy, windy, rainy. <laughs> But it's looking a lot nicer today, so hopefully we'll have an amazing view. So after our national park tour, we will just turn around and head north, 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 as far as we can get. We don't know exactly how far we get or where we're gonna end up tonight, but it's already nine o'clock and we have to pack up everything. So better hit the road, let's go. A beautiful day in El Shelton. Wow, look at these cliffs. Man, so epic. And finally, we can see something. <laughs> Yeah, what a different day to when we arrived in town. It was terrible when we arrived and now it's just like beautiful. Now it's just incredible. Look at this mountain over there with the snow on. Wow. Wow. Oh, there's Mount Fitzroy just yep. hidden by clouds. <laughs> nice. But hopefully we can get a little bit of a view of this mountain today. Yeah. It's almost better to uh, arrive in town. You can't see anything. You camp, you wake up in the morning and the sun is shining and the mountains are just there for you. And it's like, ah. <laughs> what a location, man. People mostly come to El Shao Ten actually for hiking. We are still not feeling 100% since quite, since like Ushuaia. Um, so we're just really not up for doing a crazy hike. Yeah, the hike would be like 10 hours. <laughs> would be a full day hike. And yeah, we have to come back at one point. Luckily, there is a road going into the national park, um, a lovely dirt road that we can explore so we can still get a really nice experience here in the Los Glaciares National Park from the comfort of Bumblebee. <laughs> so here is the start of the of the road into the park. Okay cool. This dirt road will take us 38 kilometers so 20 something miles into the park and it finishes at a lake with a glacier and there's just epic mountains around, so. Let's see what we can see. Wow. Oh my God, look at this. That looks really, really unreal. That is absolutely stunning. Okay, the ground is not too bad so far. Still don't like to go uphill on the gravel. <laughs> Whoa, okay. <laughs> anyway, we've got no rush going down this road. 
We can take it nice and easy. Yeah, as long as we don't crash. Whoa. Okay. Oh, my Lord. <gasps> Beautiful. Yes! Oh, oh be well, careful here! Be careful here, yeah? Wow! Wow! Yeah, okay! Whew. Got some wind in the morning. But you know, you've got the views, you can't have everything, can you? You've got the views, got the sunshine, so we can take a little bit of wind, I hope. Oh, in between the river and a massive cliff, look at this! Oh my god! Wow, look at the water, it's going fast! Wow! Whoa! Oh my oh. god! That's insane! Okay, that was bordering on dangerous right there. Oh my god. Oh, that was like I was like a meter away from the river and a meter away from the car. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I don't like that. No, that was a bit that was really dodgy. That was really dodgy. Oh. Oh Jesus. Oh no. Okay. Oh, no. Hold on a second. Let me just slow down here. Yeah. I'm gonna have to make my way across to this side. And then I think I will oh. stop. Oh, oh. sorry. No. Okay. <laughs> Hola. Hola. Oh, muchas gracias. I, I will go here, hey? Okay. Uh, okay, ready? Go. Wah. Okay. Gracias. Is there space or no? No? Uh, a little bit more. Okay. A lot of wind, eh? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we have decided that we absolutely cannot continue on this road any further. So we're just figuring out now about turning this bike around. But man, this wind condition is insane. Oh, it's super strong winds. Okay. 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 Nope, it's not okay. Yep, it's okay. Just about. Now we're going to do it like this. Okay. Oh man, the wind is pushing me so hard. Yeah. Woo. Too strong wind, we have to turn around. Yeah. Okay. There we go, short visit to Los Glaciares National Park. But anyway, nothing much we can do with that. That is just too crazy. Yeah, we are not there yet, hey? with our off-road skills <laughs> yeah but i mean there's like the road skills but then the wind as well yeah yeah it's a combination hey no cars no cars no cars
okay cool that widens out now so there we go <laughs> on our way back to El Shaten I think one fall is enough for today though hey we're just stopping because something is not right here this is not supposed to be like this Yeah, there's a loose one. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to get a spanner on that yeah. and tighten it up. Whew, it's probably the first time I've had to get out our toolkit. We are skilled enough to tighten some screws. <laughs> yes. <sighs> yeah, yeah, that's good, it's tightening. That's it. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. I don't know if any other screws are loose on, on the body, but I think that's something we'll have to check, hey? <coughs> we'll check that later. Okay, awesome. Well, this has been a morning of challenges, hey? Yeah, I was hoping for a relaxing morning. Yeah, relaxing ride with some mountain views. Yeah. But no. <laughs> This was what I was hoping for. Oh well. Anyway, we overcome the challenges so far this morning. We come out alive. Yeah. Happy and alive, eh? It's at the end, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We made it back to El Shelton. <laughs> oh man. Ten miles done. I need a break now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Time to find some empanadas. Yes, because we tried to find some empanadas yesterday in El Calafate and uh, the place was closed. But Lavi says that she has found a place that might give us some empanadas here in El Shalten. Oh yes, panaderia and it's definitely open, abierto. There we go. Let's check out what they got. Hola, buenos días. Quanto costa una croissant? Eh, una. Una, yeah, sí. Cien. Cien. Okay, uh, cuatro aquí, spinach and cheese, y dos croissant. La tarta o la empanada? Ah, okay, this one is tarta. tarta sí. Ah, and this empanada. empanada. Okay, uh, cuatro empanada. Perfecto, yeah. gracias. Yes, we have empanadas. Yes, and croissants. Whee! How is it? Delicious. A nice treat after a difficult morning, hey? Beautiful. All right, we are heading out of El Shouten, back on the open road. What a stunning town, really. What a stunning town. I mean, the location with the mountains around is just... Yeah, if only you could just like turn off the wind somehow, then yeah. it would just be like perfect. Got a viewpoint here just above the town. I wanted to turn around so that we could show you guys this view ahead. Look at that. <laughs> Epic view without even hiking. This is what we couldn't see yesterday. This is Mount Fitzroy and it's a pretty epic mountain. Whoa, look at this. I thought we just had the views of our lives, but I think this is the view of our life. Yeah, we had to turn around and just come back down this hill just to ride with this view in front. Wow. Argentina, I am impressed. Oh, and look at this wow. one here. Oh, there's a glacier there as well. Wow. Whoa, it's so worth turning around just to have a look. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, my God. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. All right. Okay. I think it's time to turn around and head back. Yep.
Goodbye, my Fitzroy. <laughs> bye bye. Bye, El Shaten. Wow, you're super, super beautiful. Oh, I'm so glad that we could see it under the blue skies, clear, unbelievable. But now, anyway, now it's time for us to head north. So we just stopped at this petrol station here and uh, it turns out that they don't have any fuel. We just went to the pump to fill up and they said, no, nope, they don't have any. But then Khalil here, our saviour, went and spoke to them and basically told them that we were pretty desperate and we don't really have enough fuel to get to the next petrol station. So they went in the back and brought these guys out. Some emergency fuel, it's like one and a half litres. And apparently this is like for emergencies when people really don't have fuel. Just for desperate people like us, hey? Thank you, Khalil, very much. It was because of your sweet talking that they uh, brought those out. <laughs> Khalil is, in, is on his BMW here. Look at this. GS850. It is. Amazing. And where are you headed? Ushuaia. Ushuaia, yes. That's awesome. Where did you start? Santiago. Well, I really hope that we can see each other in Santiago then. So too, man. Yeah. You're welcome. Juice. Life for Bumblebee. Enjoy. We see you in Santiago. So we're just leaving the petrol station. The fake petrol station. Yeah, the petrol station with no fuel except in bottles at the back that you have to be really desperate to get. <laughs> and uh, we're a little bit worried now because Khalil also told us, because he just came from the north, and the next town after this is called Gubernara Gregores. And he told us that between there and here, is a 73 kilometer stretch of dirt road known as the Damned Highway. Uh oh. And then we ask him, why is it called the Damned Highway? And he says it's basically a very bad condition gravel road, which with lots of wind, which is basically a motorcycle killer. I'm not excited about that. Yeah, we didn't really know that uh, there was any dirt road coming so I've got the tires all pumped up and we were just ready to rock and roll but yeah, it's, apparently it's going to be a bit of a different day We've got about 110 miles to Gobernador de Gregores so we're going to enjoy our asphalt and then uh, we'll have to take on this damned highway Oh and also we met this uh, other biker who's in front of us now and he's on a Honda 150cc bike and actually he was looking for fuel at the petrol station as well and uh, the guy sold him a bottle from the back as well but then they said that that was literally the last fuel that they had Thirteen thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine point nine. Fourteen thousand miles. Woo! Yes. <laughs> Woo! Wow, fourteen thousand miles on the road so far. That's crazy. That actually means that we have now ridden the same amount of miles in South America as we did for the whole of Europe and Africa. Crazy. Because we did just under 7,000 to get all the way from London to Dakar and now it's been doubled already. 14,000 down, probably 20,000 more to go. <laughs> Let's do it. So we're just having a little snack break and uh, we've got ourselves it's a, a peanut butter wrap but with peanuts inside as well so it's a peanut butter and peanut wrap pretty much just whatever we have in the food bag and we're hiding in this like ditch down on the side of the road because up here i can tell you start of the dirt road, the start of the damned 73 kilometers. 
apparently that's like the official name that's what people call it so we've let the tire pressure down we're gonna have a little snack refuel and then we're gonna give it a go let's hope for the best all right are you ready to take on the damn 73 no no me neither <laughs> let's do it <clears throat> so we've taken our tire pressure down to the lowest level we've ever taken it um, actually Khalil was the one who told us he said you know what for this bit you guys should take yourselves down to under 30 psi so we've taken the front and back down to 28 psi yeah Khalil says that he runs even lower like 25 yeah and he just says that for a terrain like this it's just gonna make the ride so much easier and smoother yeah you're not bouncing on all the stones and when it gets soft you've got a bit more traction i don't know khalil we'll give it a go and we'll let you know at the end <sighs> well i mean for now it fits actually uh, fit for it good yeah but except the wind is pushing oh, us into this deep gravel on the edge which is not good oh my god look at this car there ah this car did not make it <laughs> didn't make it Got some guanacos that are enjoying the damned highway. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, oh, it's not so bad actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're quite chilled. They are quite chilled. Yeah. Oh, there's another one over here. Oh, there's a whole group. Yeah. Nice. Hello, guys. Guys, have a look at this, what we've just seen on the side of this road. Oh my God. Look at this here. It's a guanaco that tried to jump over the fence, wow. but he didn't make it over the fence. Crazy. Mm. And this is not the only one. We saw probably like 20, 30, 50 yeah. of guanacos hanging there in the uh, fence. Oh, it makes me so sad. Yeah. These fences are just killing machines. Another reason why they call it the damned highway then. It's damned for the guanacos as well. So we are now one hour into our journey and we've covered around 25 miles so far. So we're actually over halfway. And uh, yes, there have been some bad bits, some deep gravel, some big stones, all of the above. All of the usual suspects. We haven't fallen off yet, which is great. Yes. Yeah, I'm just super happy that the wind is actually in our backs. So yeah, I don't feel any wind. Yeah, I think we were really lucky about that because it's, just... it's like most people said that it's hitting them from the side here. Yeah. And so I think that some days you can be really unlucky. Mm -hmm. But you know, for us today, it's just beautiful like it's just been behind us the entire time yeah yeah it's so good so good i'm so happy about that yeah you know when you take the wind factor out of it mm -hmm. you know we can deal with the stones we can deal with the gravel i say that and then it gets like really stony and really gravelly uh -oh. Hold on. careful oh there's something up ahead Oh wow, look at this. Oh wow. Okay. Well, there's no one in it. Maybe uh, hit the brakes too hard and then slid. Yeah, it looks like he nearly fell off the edge of that cliff. Yeah. Man, dangerous road, hey? Dangerous roads. It's just too much gravel. I do not understand why they cover it in such an amount of gravel.
<laughs> oh. Tarmac is here! Woo! And it's amazing, we finished that dirt road nearly exactly the same time as our German friend from the petrol station. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> <laughs> so we got now about 30, 40 miles to the next town where we can finally fuel up properly. But that is it. We have conquered the damned 73. Fantasticos. We made it to fuel. Whee! Yes. <laughs> Bravo. Yeah, I don't know if we would have made it without that extra couple of bottles that we got from the other petrol station, really. So yeah, I didn't run out of fuel. Didn't Perfect. fall over. Perfect. Amazing. <laughs> We've actually found a place on iOverlander which is actually oh hold on a second wow okay here we go i mean how am i not going to run these dogs over seriously wow <laughs> we were really cornered by these dogs oh my lord so anyway, we found a place on iOverlander, which is actually in town, it's a municipal camp. So we're going to head over to there and check it out, make sure it's all right, because it's getting really late. So it's really time to make camp now. Okay. Oh yeah, I see. So where all these vans are, hey? Okay see if we can find ourselves a spot good evening guys we made it happy and alive Whee! yes yes just before sunset as well it is quite late and it's already getting dark so we just basically have to make some dinner and get straight to bed yes so we did at the end 200 miles and that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the episode if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comment below and we will see you next time Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 268. 68? Oh, okay. A little bit of traffic in the morning. I think that this piece of grass right in front of the bike is uh, flat enough for us, eh? Hey? 